The overweight population has grown exponentially over the last 20 years. And we really feel like we can contribute to the science in this area, especially leveraging from the science that we've been involved in in the last few years, uh, specifically gene expression science and our relationship with LifeGen technologies. In general, it seems that uh, perhaps they're not working. The evidence is that uh, more and more people are gaining weight and having difficulty. And a typical person really believes it's just calories in and calories out. And the average person then will say, okay, I need to drop calories, so uh, eat less. And also, the way that calories go out is by exercising, right? That's yeah. how we do it. So eat less, exercise more. What we are finding with that is that people are losing weight, but unfortunately they're losing adipose tissue or fat and also muscle, which is actually uh, critical to hold on to and not to lose. There's good reasons for that. Uh, you know, this muscle is your metabolic engine. The energy that you expend when you are not exercising actually accounts for most of the energy that is expended. And it's logical when you think about it. Most people don't exercise 24 hours a day. So uh, we need to pay attention to your metabolism while you're, while you're resting. And that means maintain lean muscle. The right approach will actually help you to maintain lean muscle mass. It's not just about calories in and calories out anymore. I believe that gene expression science is an important advance in our understanding of weight management. You know, our approach has always been to target the sources of any nutritional issues. And as we understand the genes, really that's going as far upstream as you can go to understand the sources of an issue. So certainly this is something that we can apply to weight management in a very fruitful way. What we have found, in fact, is that there are certain groups of genes which we have called youth gene clusters that when they express themselves and that's in, in the wrong way, they have an influence or an effect on weight management. As you said, Joe, our approach is not just to look at one magic gene, but actually there are many genes that express themselves in the human body. So that's why you use the word clusters, of course. The three uh, main groups that we've found are groups that are involved in metabolism overall and in maintenance of lean muscle and also in appetite control. So these are genes that are expressed uh, differently and also in different parts of the body, but they all have an impact on weight management. An ideal or optimal weight management system should really consist of four key elements. The first key element uh, is related to the fact is to adopt a healthy eating plan. A second key element is to make sure that lean muscle is not lost during a weight management program. Another third element that we should focus on is really on fat tissue. You know, when you lose weight, all that loss of weight should come from fat and no other tissue from your body so that we can shape better, i.e. that our body composition uh, gains, uh, reaches a healthy level. So you look better in front of a mirror and not just getting on a, on, on a scale. And finally, the fourth element would be related to the fact that you should adopt a healthy exercise program. What we eat during a weight management program turns out to be incredibly important. So you need to have a certain amount minimum of protein, for example, to maintain an amino acid pool in your body that's going to help you maintain muscle mass. And you can't overstate the importance of maintaining that lean tissue because that's your metabolic engine.